A breakthrough in our understanding of Alzheimer's disease has revealed changes in blood vessels in the brain, potentially presenting a path to develop new drugs to help fight against the disease. According to the University of Manchester research funded by the British Heart Foundation and published today in Acts of Acts of Acts the National Academy of Sciences 1. Alzheimer's disease is traditionally considered as a cerebral cell disease, where a protein called amyloid beta accumulates and form plates. There is more and more evidence that the blood supply of the brain is also affected, however, how it happens is unknown. Now, researchers at the University of Manchester have discovered that a smaller version of the protein called amyloid beta 1 to 40 accumulates in the walls of small arteries and reduces blood flow to the brain. The surface of the brain is covered with small arteries, called PLS arteries, which control the supply of the brain with blood and oxygen. If these arteries shrink for too long, the brain cannot obtain enough nutrients. This is one of the causes of memory loss observed in people with the disease. When the team looked at the older mouse arteries with Alzheimer's who produced 2A140, they found that the arteries were narrower compared to those of healthy mice. This narrowing proved to be caused by a 1 to 40 extinguishing a protein called BK in cells lining blood vessels. When it operates normally, BK sends a signal that causes arteries to widen. To confirm that A1 to 40 has prevented BK from functioning properly, they have dipped healthy peel arteries in A1 to 40 and measured the signals sent by the BK protein after an hour. A1 to 40 weakened these signals, which caused the narrowing of the arteries. Researchers now plan to study which part of A1 to 40 blocks BK protein, so drugs to prevent this from happening can be developed and tested as an essential treatment to prevent Alzheimer's disease from progressing and saving people sorrow to lose their memory. Dr. Adam Greenstein, principal researcher financed by the BHF and principal speaker in cardiovascular sciences at the University of Manchester, said, to date, more than 500 drugs have been tested as a remedy against Alzheimer's disease. All of them targeted the nerves in the brain and none of them succeeded. By showing exactly how Alzheimer's disease affects small blood vessels, we have opened the door to new search paths to find effective treatment. Professor Met Tin A, 